previous video we learned all the various things required to plan an epic road trip and now I've teamed up with Ford again to show you how to survive that road trip. On this road trip we're going from Los Angeles to San Francisco taking the world famous Pacific Coast Highway. Having a plug-in hybrid means that you can charge your battery as you are driving. But for long stretches, keep it topped up with gas. Clean your car before and during your trip. Now, since we're gonna be spending a lot of time in our car, looking for additional smart features to help us on the road is a real bonus. Heated seats and audio and climate and anything else. There's also a whole bunch of driver assist technology. Cruise control, parking assist, yes! Have a GPS map and a physical map. Knowing where you are going is kind of important. Find friends to join you. Hey, I'm Olivia. I've done many a solo road trip, but with friends, it is just so much more fun. If you're like me and you're taking the long shifts, you're gonna be stopping for coffee. Do it, it's a great decision. Packing your food beforehand in a cooler. If you have dietary requirements, like myself, a cooler is a great way to guarantee you'll have food on the road. That means eating less fast food and tasty and oh so good for you snacks. Entertainment options. I like audiobooks, podcasts, music streaming, downloading, or satellite radio. And if you aren't driving, movies or TV shows have some awesome apps installed. Like Ford Pass, these are so, so helpful as they have options such as roadside assistance accessible 24 seven for help with towing, jump starting, changing a flat tire, fuel delivery, and more. Ford dealer information, so if your car does need to be serviced. A parking guide for when you want to go out and, you know, explore. And my wallet to pay for that parking. Enjoy the scenic route. You chose this route for a reason, so enjoy it because it's usually slower and more trickier to drive. But the views. Divide and conquer i.e. managing the division of labor and knowing your role if you are traveling with other drivers. For example, some people are good at navigating while others, maybe not so much. So am I turning right? Some people are good at finding restaurants to eat at. Um, yum, yes. Mm -hmm, good choice. Some people enjoy driving through cities or at night or through rush hour and others, they like to sleep. Rush hour is an awful time to drive anywhere, so be aware of when you are driving through larger cities during rush hour. Day versus night. I've drove the night shift, the all night, late night drive. It's not great. However, if you have enough drivers to switch out, it's a great way to cover long stretches of time while sleeping in shifts. Plan your toilet stops, cause we all need to go. So pay attention to your rest stops, AKA free outdoor toilets. Yes, free. Or just grab another coffee and use their washroom. Even if you're not focused too much on the budget as the purpose of your road trip, costs can quickly add up if you are not paying attention. Know when to sleep and stop when you are tired. Taking proper breaks, especially at night. The road can wait, and if you are too tired to drive and focus, your safety is more important, so don't push yourself beyond your limits. And last, stop and enjoy the journey. It's not all about driving, you know. 
so stop and enjoy the destination, which can be just as good as the journey. Now that our road trip is complete, next up we are exploring around San Francisco via bike, so stay tuned.